Selena is an action platformer that came out on March 24, 2016. Upon release, it was met with overwhelmingly poor reviews. The game had laggy controls, uninspired level design, dull combat, among a plethora of other issues. Since then, the developers have been hard at work listening to feedback and updating their product. The final major patch has been rolled out on August 4th, and I've decided to take a look at the rework. The first major change involves Slane's combat. The original release had players mashing the attack button for most situations, since this would essentially stunlock enemies. Other techniques, like a decapitate and magic existed, but they just weren't all that useful. Now, normal attacks don't dominate enemies quite so hard. This forces players to finally use their other abilities. Holding down the attack button now charges up a critical strike, which needs to be released at a specific time towards the end of the windup. This charge cannot be quickly cancelled, making it a high risk, high reward technique. Killing an enemy with a critical strike regenerates mana, further adding incentive to the ability. Projectiles can be reflected back at enemies by swinging at them, opening up another avenue of strategy. And finally, a dedicated block button has been added. All these changes together add a lot more depth to the husk that Slain's combat was. Many bosses have been added to various stages, and those that had existed were revamped. The bosses now actually feel like bosses. Each is unique in their moveset, and they now have phases, making them harder as the fight progresses. Adding to this, many normal enemies have also been thrown into levels, the majority of which are completely new models. I'd wager that the enemy count has been roughly doubled from the original release. One of Slane's largest problems involved the controls. Playing on a keyboard was impossible due to the massive input lag, and the controller had some truly questionable binds. On top of this, the game made no effort to teach the controls to players. All of these issues are now alleviated. The lag with the keyboard is gone and the controls are explained. The dialogue as a whole has been revamped. No longer will you see a wolf abbreviate thanks as THX. The writing now miraculously fits the theme of the game, and is simply made better this time around. One complaint I had in my original review involved the speed of elevators and other moving platforms. They moved at the speed of a dying sloth. As you may have guessed, this too has been resolved. Though Slain hasn't been made into a perfect game, the levels themselves still feel uninspired. They are all, for the most part, straight paths with not a lot of variation. The traps just feel redundant. When you've seen a specific type of trap, you will never fall for it more than once. Though it is nice that new traps have been added. Also, Slain seems to have trouble finding the right amount of space between checkpoints. At times these are thrown at you with insane frequency, and at others you clear a massive room filled with baddies only to think, really? Still no checkpoint? So while it still has a couple of problems, Slane's issues are much more minor now. I had stated that I felt like Slane could be a good game, and by god they've done it. They turned that piece of rotting meat into a pretty good burger. And I like burgers.